This video contains a couple of sample problems where we work through problems where we're using the remainder estimates using the integral test. So for this first problem, we're given a series, the sum of one over n to the fourth, and we're told that we're using the partial sum S11 to approximate the sum of the series, and we wanna use the remainder estimate to obtain an upper bound on the error R11. So the formula we're gonna be using here is that R sub n is less than the integral from n to infinity of f of x dx, where f of x is the formula that we're using for our integral. So in this case, that would tell us that R11 is less than the integral from 11 to infinity of one over x to the fourth dx. So all we have to do is work out that improper integral and that will give us our upper bound on our error. So the first step whenever we're evaluating an improper integral is to rewrite this as a limit. In this case, a limit as t goes to infinity. And we're integrating from 11 to t. We can think of x to the, our one over x to the fourth is x to the minus fourth. So that'll give us our antiderivative where we add one to that power, that's gonna be x to the minus three, and then multiply by one divided by that new power, one over minus three. We're gonna plug in t, we're gonna plug 11 and subtract. So that'll give us the limit as t goes to infinity of, I'm gonna rewrite that as a fraction now, minus one over three t cubed, and then minus a minus is a plus, one over three times 11 cubed. Now as t goes to infinity, one over three t cubed, that's gonna to go to zero, and so in my limit, I'm going to get one over three times 11 cubed, and that's my upper bound for my error. So if they tell you how many terms you wanna add, you can use that for your value of capital N and use that to get your error bound. Now, something else that we can do is we can give a desired amount of error and ask how many terms do we need to add? What should capital N be in order to achieve that error bound? So we're still gonna use our formula, r sub n is less than the integral from n to infinity of f of x dx, but this time n is unknown. But what we want is for this to be less than 10 to the minus six. So in other words, we're going to make this happen. We're gonna make that integral happen, that, that inequality happen, and that will cause our remainder, which we want to be less than 10 to the minus six. So again, we're focused on evaluating this improper integral, but this time the value of n is unknown. So we're integrating from n to t. f of x, our formula here is eight over k to the fifth. I'm gonna write that as eight times x to the minus five. Take my antiderivative. I add one to that power, adding one to negative five gives me negative four. Divide by that power, one over negative four, and then I'm gonna plug in t and n and subtract. Now, 8 over negative 4 is negative 2, so that's going to give me negative 2 times 1 over t to the fourth, and then minus a minus is a plus 2 times 1 over n to the fourth. Now, again, t is going to infinity, so 1 over t to the fourth, that's going to be going to 0. So my integral just equals 2 over n to the fourth. And now what I want is to make this happen. So in other words, I want to make that fraction, 2 over n to the, n to the fourth, I want to make that less than 10 to the minus 6. So let's do that. So we multiply both sides by n to the fourth. That's gonna give us two is less than 10 to the minus six times n to the fourth. Divide both sides by 10 to the minus six. That's gonna give us two million is less than n to the fourth. If I take the fourth root of both sides, that's gonna give me n is greater than about 37.6. Now n is a number of terms, which means n has to be a whole number. And so the smallest whole number that's greater than 37.6 is 38. So n should have to be at least 38. And since they want the smallest number of terms, 38 is the answer that we're looking for.